Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to disambiguate between a lizard and a baby. Um, this, this arose in our stream on Wednesday night. Um, Simon was moving his... Oh, I've forgotten the light. Simon was moving his character around the, um, the caves in uh, the Crypt Master's world, and there was an odd sound from behind the doors, and I speculated that it sounded to me... <laughs> either like a lizard or a baby, which was what I thought at the time. Um, and that got, <laughs> got a lot of amusement on the stream, unsurprisingly. Um, it's the sort of moment people love when we say something absolutely ridiculous. Ollie Ma was listening, enjoyed it, and has decided to instantly create a fully symmetrical puzzle that <laughs> disambiguates between the lizard and the baby. It's called the lizard baby disambiguation, which sounds like a an episode of the Big Bang Theory, but um, I'm looking forward to giving this a try and finding out what is going on. Um, it looks, well, you can see in that diagram, it does look a bit like a lizard, but it does also at the top look a bit like a baby. I'm not sure we will disambiguate that. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to giving this a try, and I love that Olimar was inspired by this insane comment that came out of my mouth to create this puzzle. Um, now, what else is going on apart from us streaming? Um, and we will be trying to do that weekly for a while. I think in summer it's harder to do, but uh, this we're getting into autumn now. Um, what have we got going on? We've got the Hollywood Lunchbox is our patron reward for the month, and that's out on Patreon about halfway, th no, about a week into the period. So that's great. Um, you get nearly three weeks to solve what are quite tricky sandwich Sudokus this time. Sandwich variants, so not all straightforward sandwich at all. Um, and some of them are proving quite hard, which is good. Bit of a challenge. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got, of course, our apps include our latest um, Cracking the Cryptics approachable Sudoku number one. That's out on the main app. Do download it, give it a go, and you can get through those puzzles, power through, you know you can do it. Um, there's also all sorts of other good stuff around the channel. There's Sven Sudoku Pad and our merch. But this puzzle with its strange looking lizard or baby is here to be solved. It's the first link under the video, and I am going to read the rules for basically the first time myself. Here we go, let's, no, let's not, let's read the rules. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So one to nine go in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Adjacent digits on a green line, like those two, differ by at least five. That's the normal German whisper rules. A white dot joins two cells with consecutive digits in, and a black dot joins two cells with a one to two ratio. But there could be other places in the grid where those um, ratios or differences apply. Red squares show the position of their cell's column number in that row. For example, a three in row two, column one, would necessitate a one here, which would be saying that the, that the, um, they show the position of their cell's column number in that row. I'm not quite sure I understand this. Oh, sorry, I've got it wrong. Right, a three in row, row two, column one, there we go, says that there's a one in row two, column three. So if that was a three, that's saying that the one for column one in this column goes there. And if this was a three, no, let's say that was a three. That's saying the nine in this row goes in column three there. So that's how they work, indexing cells. Um, and I'm not great at indexing puzzles. Somebody yesterday said maybe vaults should be, com or the day before, said maybe vaults should be combined with fortresses to hit my two weak spots. Well, I think they may have forgotten indexing. Anyway, those are the rules. Give it a try. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get cracking. Olimar can be quite tricky sometimes. So, Okay, the three things that I know about German whisper lines include that five can never be on them, that they must therefore alternate between high digits and low digits, because to maintain that difference of five, they're going to have to have digits higher than five followed by digits lower than five every time 
they move between cells. And finally, four and six can't be placed in cells where their neighbours see each other, like here. That couldn't be a four because both of those would have to be nine. So we can colour a line. Let's colour the alternating cells on this one in purple and the other alternating cells in green. Oh, that's interesting. With this shape, you get a lot more purple cells than green. Eight purples to four greens. Right, now, the, in, this, as, as I mentioned briefly at the start, this puzzle is entirely symmetrical, and that's normally impossible. With most rule sets, that just doesn't work, because there would be at least two solutions. You could flip them over. But I think the indexing must change that up anyway. This is a very symmetrical, um, I want to say, lizard leg situation on this side of the puzzle. And we know that these can't be the purple colour. I don't know whether purple is high or low. I'm marking them to show the difference between purple and green. So I'm going to mark these ones green, because if they were purple, there would be six purples. And that can't happen because... Um, there are only four purple digits in the puzzle. Whether purple is high or low, that must apply. So I can mark those purple and those green. Okay, now I still don't know which is high or which is low, but I do know that I'm alternating in this way. These cells, they go beyond this business of not being able to be four or six. They each see three cells. So if this was low... These would have to be at the max 9, 8, and 7. And this now couldn't be 4 or 3, because it would be touching a 7. So these cells are from 1, 2, 8, or 9. And the same is true down here. And they're the same colour in their columns, so they're a pair. That uses up either 1 and 2 in that column, or 8 and 9. Um, do I know? I don't know about these colours. The symmetry kind of tells me that. I've got a black dot here, though. How is that? I don't really understand in my mind how the indexing is going to resolve this, this symmetry issue. Or are there five X-wings, almost, or... or Jellyfish, perhaps. Swordfish, maybe, that's the thing. So five in rows three and eight has to be in one of those three cells in each case. And in fact, it can't be there on a green cell. OK, let's start with that. One of these two is a five in row three, because five can never be on a green. We did say so, and it is true. Ah, this, where is 5 in this box? That's quite interesting too. It can't go here because that would join 4 and 6. And these can't have one of them high and one of them low. And in fact, neither of them can be 4 or 6 because of the alternation. So 5 is up there somewhere in box 1. It's here somewhere in row 3. And what would this mean? This would mean, ah, that means that either... There's a 1 in the 5th cell, or a 9 in the 5th cell. So this is 1 or a 9. It's a very extreme digit. So, if that is high, then here... Say, say purple was high, and that was high, which is possible. If that was 9, this would be 8, 7, 6, including a 6, and that would have to be 1. If that was 9 and this was high, this would have to be 1. If this was 1, one of these purple or green is low, and one of these has to be 9 in a commensurate way. Oh, and OK. I'm going to colour these cells as well, but I can't use purple and green because I don't want to link them up. So I'm going to use yellow and grey. And these two are the other set. They are joined by a grey digit as well, because two greys can't be joined by a five, which only joins four and six, and we've placed five up there somewhere. So one of these is less extreme than the other. OK, one of these, 
they're, they're kept two apart by this cell. So one of them is, I don't know how to describe it, the second least, ex the second least extreme digit. It's not four or six because you can't put those in these places, but it is three or seven. And that means this other yellow cell must be two or eight. Three and seven cannot connect together. So that is a pair. This is grey as well. Now, if if this was one and two, this black dot couldn't use one or two. It would be either three, six or four, eight. OK, I don't really know what that means. There would be a high digit on it, a high digit there, and two high digits here, if this was a one-two pair in yellow. I suppose if, on the other hand, this is nine-eight in yellow, then this is grey. Uh, we can't have eight-four, so this is either six-three, four-two, or two-one. Well, it's never two-one or two-four. Yeah, just look at that for a moment. If this was 2-1 or 2-4, this would be a 9-8 pair. That would be low. But we need a low digit in each of those pairs. We'd have too many low digits if this was 1-2 or 2-4. So this is 3-6 or 4-8. If it's 3-6, it doesn't really affect these much. But if it's 4-8, they become a 2-1 pair. These are all high, and that can't be 8 in that situation because of the 8 that appears down here. So if this is 4-8, this in the middle of a set of three highs is going to have to be... Oh, this is impossible. We've agreed, actually. I'd forgotten that we'd agreed that 7 or 3 sits in these cells. So this is either 3, 2, 1 if grey is low, or 7, 8, 9 if grey is high. And this is always 2 or 8 here, and that's a 2, 8 pair. So this is not 8, 4. This is 3, 6 on the black dot here. Now, if white is... Sorry, white. There isn't a white colour. If yellow is low... I don't know, I thought I was going to decide what this is, but I'm not, I'm not able to do that. Um, so this pair is either 1, 3 or 7, 9. And we'll use the 1 and the 9 in this box. So 2, 8 are used, 1, 9 are used between those three cells. These are definitely from 3, 4, 6, 7 as a set. I wonder if this is forced to be a 1-9 pair. I haven't worked out how. I've used very little of the indexing so far, apart from the hint from the fives. Oh, I see. If this was included a 1 in one of them, that would be 4 or 6. But if it includes a 9, that will be 4 or 6. OK, don't know what that means yet. 3, 6. 3 is the one that's slightly difficult. So if we imagine these as all... If we imagine grey as low, that's a 2. This is 1 or 4. And then 1 and 2 would have to appear either there and there or there and there. I don't know. That doesn't really get anything done. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, this, but I don't know quite what to do. <laughs> Two, eight, and one, nine have been used up here. So these also are from three, four, five, six, seven. One of them is definitely a five. In this box, 5 is also in one of those two cells now. And that's a sort of X-wing on 5s between those four. That must use the 5s in columns 
four and six. So the five in column five, maybe it always had to be here. It, well, once we found it wasn't there, it did. I just hadn't seen that before. Goodness. Okay, how about this being a one-two pair? Because this is in column three. Imagine if that was a one. This would be a three for the indexing. If that was a one-two pair, what happens here? Anything interesting in the column? These will be high digits. I don't know. This is seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three here. Which, okay, imagine that's one, two, three. That makes that four or six. But this cell, which is cluing the nine, can't put it in four, five, or six column. And one, two, three would be gone. So this would be seven, eight, or nine. There would be a nine in one of these positions. And then that would obviously be the yellow nine in box two. And there'd be a nine up here, so that digit would be one, two, or three. Yeah, there, uh, this is something I'd forgotten about indexing puzzles, is where you have these three cells in the same box. There has to be, they are... entropic in the sense that one of them is from one, two, three, so it's one can go in this box. One of them is from four, five, six, so it's one can go in this box, and one of them is from seven, eight, nine, so it's one can go in this box. So if that was a five, and this was one, and that was seven, eight, nine, does it, it doesn't really do anything about those potential ones. I'm really struggling to see how we learn anything about ones and nines in this. Oh, that can't be a one or a nine. That's quite interesting because five in this row is in one of those cells. It can't be here or here. Therefore, and if this was a one or a nine, one of those would have to index it. So this is not a one or a nine and it's not a two or an eight. And it's not three or six. This is four or seven. That's quite interesting and unexpected as a discovery. This pair is either nine, four or one, seven. Now, what does that mean? That means that I wanted to say, if it's a seven, well, I, I wanted to say that it means this can't be a nine. That would be true if this was seven. Because this would have to be seven if that was nine. But, 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 we don't know if it is true. So if that's seven, eight and nine are the high digits appearing here, along with, well, could be four. Four could appear in one of those two cells with nines both sides. If that was a four, then these would have to include one and two. That's very unrestricting. These digits are from one, four, five, seven, nine. Now the indexing goes down to row five and it doesn't go beyond it. I don't know if there's a reason for that in the construction of the puzzle. Now this is one or nine. Putting a five in one of these cells. Also making one of these frog finger areas either two, three, four, or eight, seven, six. So whatever yellow is, all the yellows are used up. Either the four yellows are there or the four yellows are there. So these two cells are a five and a grey cell. One of them is grey. Oh, that's nice colours. Um, one of them is grey. Well, 
Now greys are one, two, three, and four. If that was grey, it's putting a one in position one, two, three, or four. Well, if it's, gr no, sorry, if this is grey and low. I don't understand this properly. I really don't. Oh, it feels like this is the only place I can make actual deductions and I'm, I'm not getting anything useful done. Um, these don't include a five either. Because that's not one or nine. Does that mean... I don't think it means... Okay, so where's the five in row... Five. It's in one of those two cells. Is that any use to me? It doesn't feel like it is, I have to say. It might be some use if I knew it had to be the same side as the five in row three, but I don't know that. feels like there is a way through this and I don't, I can't work it out. Okay, these cells see two neighbours, so does that one. So they can't be, they have to be from one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. They can't be fours or sixes. Might as well mark that since I know it. So the six in this bottom box is in one of those two cells, which is a slightly strange discovery. Um, and the three, I don't know. The three might also be in one of those two cells with a six, or it might be in one of these. If either of these is a three, they are definitely surrounded by eight and nine. Um, we've got three purples in this row, and three, a column, and three greens in this one. Does that mean anything? One of these two... The one that isn't five is yellow, whatever colour yellow is. In relation to green and purple, I don't know the answer. This is very confusing to me. And the disambiguation, I'm absolutely still completely at sea on how this disambiguates across the grid and, and between high and low. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo at the moment. Okay, one of these is the high, the extreme digit, putting a four or a six in one of those cells. And that is on the opposite side of the grid, because they're gray and this is yellow, to wherever the five is. So either that is a four or a six, and that's a five, or that's a four or a six, and that's a five. Okay, one of... Right, here's a thought. If grey was green, that's using... Let's call it high, just for the sake of making a choice. And if grey was green, we've got the four greens in this column. This would be an extreme digit. Well... No, okay, what I'm going to posit is that the extreme digit in these grey cells, the 9 or the 1, is in the same column as its three friends. Let's just see if that breaks. If that's a 9 and green is high, these two can't be 6, so that's a 6. And then these two are 7 and 8. You've got nine, six, seven, eight there. They are sandwiching a 
2 or a 1. That's not good. The 9 has made that a 7. Oh, that's interesting. The 9 there, if this is a 9-7 pair, that's a 7 from the height or lowness. So if that's a 9, that's a 7, then this is 6, that's 8, because it mustn't be 7. So this only applies if it's high. If that's a 9, that's a 6, that's 7. We've got 8 here and 7 here. 7 and 8 there makes that a 9 over this side, with a 7 above here. 9. No, 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 I've got this the wrong way around. I was positing that grey was green. So if that's 9 and that's 7, that's 8. Then this is, well, ah, in, that, in the case of high, it can't be 6, so it would be 9. And what happens in the case of low? Let's say that was 1, and that has to be 4. This has to be 2. Then we've used 2, 3, and 4, and this is 1. So one of these two seems to always know. In the case where the extreme digit is in the same column with three more of its color, on the opposite side, that colour has a 1 or a 9. I mean, that's really deep, frankly. I don't want to have to be solving like that. It's hard to see. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really some way at sea here. I'm not getting this at all. If that is a 1-2 pair, 1 can't be in any of these cells. So the 1 pointing into box 1 with a 1 or a 2 here, or with a 1, 2 or 3 here, is a 1 or a 2 here. You couldn't have a 3 in those cells if that's a 1-2 pair. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. You couldn't have a 3 in those cells if this is a 1-2 pair. Does that mean something for 3s that I haven't seen? I don't know. I feel like there's something interesting going on there, but I don't know what it is. And we had this thing with fives that I was going to investigate originally. Row eight needs a five in one of those three cells. Now, does that relate to row two? It certainly doesn't relate to row five. Oh, I see. Uh, I've also noticed none of these other cells can generate a five in the red cells. So, for all that there's a 5 in one of those cells, the 5 in the other extreme column is not in those cells and is below it in one of these. Which isn't that interesting or helpful, I don't know. I do not know what I'm looking at here. Okay, let's go back to thinking about this as a one-two pair. What difference does it make? If that's a one-two pair, what, what is happening in the puzzle? I don't know. These are high. Doesn't tell me whether this is a one-eight pair, a one-two pair or an eight-nine pair. Five is definitely in these, along with the non four or seven from that cell. Okay, well let's say four was here and couldn't be in these cells. Then this is a four six pair. If four was here, if gray is low. Then 
Then yellow is high, and that's a 9 8 pair, and that's a 2. I've got 3 6 here. This must be 1 5 7. These would then be 2 3 8 9. It doesn't feel like there's any problem or limitation over those in my head. 2, 3, 8, 9. Which one would struggle to be a 3? 3 would have to be touching both 8 and 9. And 3 would be in one of these cells. This is if I'm positing a 4 here. 3 would have to be in one of these cells, surrounded either in those positions or these positions or on the other side of the grid by 8, 9. Well, an 8, 3, 9 set either there or there would make this not 3 or 9 and that not 3 or 9. Oh, and that's... Well, we can't have 3, 8, 9 on both sides because either 3 or 9 is in one of those cells. So, we can't have 3 in both those, in both those pairs or that would happen. We can't have that anyway. In fact, I could knock 3 out of those cells now because of the 3, 6 pair. Hadn't noticed that. Now, what happens if this is a 7? These are a 1, 2 pair, and that's not 7 or 1. That is now 3 or 9, then. If, if either of these is a 7, the same is actually true if either of those is a 7, then this can't be 7 or 1, then. So it goes downwards, and this is 1 or 7, then. So if one of these is a 7. If there is a 7 in either of those cells, then there can't be a 7 in either of those cells because it's going to put a 7 or a 1 here. Interesting. But still very confusing. I'm really not getting very close to this disambiguation at all. Ollie Ma, what have you done? Half an hour in nearly, and I don't know what to do. I've got a digit in the puzzle. Can't see a way through this at all. What if that was a three? That would put a 1 here, which is an extreme digit. And that, well, yeah, then this would be an 8-9 pair, which are quite extreme. Or maybe I should think about what if this is 8, which stops 4 being here. Then these have to be 1, 2, 3. And if that's 8, or indeed 9, well, no, if it's 8, one of these is a 1, and that is then 2 or 3. That doesn't work. That's quite interesting. There's something. And this is dependent on the side of the puzzle, which feels disambiguaty. If that was an 8, this would have to be 1, 2, 3. But so would this... Did Well, no, this could be... In theory, a 4 indexing a 1 there, but we've ruled 1 out of there, so this can't be an 8. Now, does that mean this can't be a 2 for the same sort of reason this side? I suspect it does. If this was a 2, these would be 7, 8, 9, but 9 would be in one of those cells, and this would again have to be 8 or 9. Uh, 7 or 8, rather, and yet we're saying 7, 8, 9 would be there. So this is not a 2. Now, can I go further somehow and get 9 ruled out of here? These would be from 1, 2, 3, 4. And this would be a 1, because it would be the other side of things. So these would be from 1, 2, 3, 4. What cell would this be indexing? You could either have a 1 in 2 or 3, and that would have to be a 4. That would work okay, annoyingly. 
A nine here would definitely have a four there. Because this would either be two or three or a one itself and that would have to be two and three? No, that's not right. If this was a nine and that was a one, So if this is a 9, these are from 1, 2, 3, 4. But they don't have to be all of them. So that could be a 5. But that would put 1 here. If that was a 9 and this was a 5, that would put 1 here and 2, 3, 4 here. These would be six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, I feel like, oh, I don't know. Okay, we'll do it the other way around. If this was low, one or two, these aren't low, then this isn't two or three here. It could be a one, but that would make that a nine and that a five. And these would be two, three, and four. However, if that's a nine and there is a one in one of these cells, that would need to be two. Oh no, I'm looking at if this is low. I've forgotten what I'm doing. If this is low, one or two, these are from six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know what it means, but it, it feels like it means something. If that can't be eight, this can't be nine. That's quite interesting. If that can't be two, this can't be one. Because these are pairs of high or low. So, if this was an eight, now these would have to be one, two, three. Does that do anything? It doesn't feel like it does anything. If that was a nine, this is an eight. And then this is a one and this is a two. Wow, okay, that's interesting. So if this is high, this is a two eight pair down here. And these have to be one, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. Then we've got a four, five, six triple across the other cells. That isn't quite helping me. Wow, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, one of these digits is one, two, or three. So if that's a nine, two of these digits are also from one, two, three, are they? Or no, one of them could be a four if that's a three. One of these digits is also from 789, so if that's low, if that's 2, this is an 89 pair. And then the digit here has to be a 7 that is high, putting a 1 in one of these cells. If that's a 2, this is an 8-9 pair, and that becomes a 1. And that's a 2 or a 3, interestingly, in that case, because of the 8-9 pair. So if that's a 2, there's an 8-9 pair there, that's a 1. That's a five. I don't see what that does. It's annoying. I cannot see how to disambiguate this. I don't know. I feel like 
quite close to giving up here because I can't think of anything that's that I haven't been considering that can bear fruit. I can't see any way that this works that tells me something about it. It's so, it's so interesting because I'm sure there is a way. I know Ollie Ma and it's, I feel like I know him. And there is a way somewhere, but what is it? How am I ever going to find it? Um, if that was a six, then none of these could be sixes. Oh, no, no, I was going to say, if none of these can be sixes, we get an X-wing at the top, but we don't. I hate giving up on puzzles. Really do, but I'm pretty close now. Sorry, Ollie, it looks I couldn't disambiguate between a lizard and a baby. <laughs> it's so strange. Oh, goodness, I feel so inadequate. If that was two, that would be one. These would be an 8-9 combination. If that was 2, these would have to be 7-8-9. With a 9-8 pair there, 7 there, 1 there, therefore 5 here. 5, 9, 8, 7, 1. That would be 2 or 3. Oh, well that doesn't work. Okay, that's taken an awful long time to see. If that was 2, this would have to be a set of 987, and that would be 1. That automatically makes that a 5. 1, 2, 5, 8, 9 there. Now, this can't be selected from 3, 4, 6, 7. If that's a 2, this is 9, 8, 7, 1, 5. Oh, okay, got the wrong number there, but still... This would be two, three, four, six. But they all have to be from the same polarity. They would be two, three, four, and that would be six, which is not where nine goes. So that is not a two. I think by the same principle, this one is not an eight, and it must work the same way, because that would be one, two, three. That would be nine, making that a five. And you'd have four, se four six, seven, eight, these have to be the same polarity, so that's four, but that's not where five goes. Uh, sorry, that's not where one goes. So that's not eight. So that is a one nine pair, which is what I kind of suspected, but now I know it at least. Now, what on earth does that mean? That means this is the counterpart of one or nine. So it's two or eight in the same color, and that is also two or eight. This is now a two eight pair. These digits, are from one, three, seven, or nine. If they were a seven, for instance, they'd be surrounded by one, two. Oh, these are a two or eight. So these six cells are now from one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. They are indeed a set of those. And these are from four, five, six. And that has happened. It's not a what if now, it's a fact. One of these is a set of one, two, three. One of them is a set of seven, eight, nine. It feels like the bottom of the grid is less helpful than the top part, however. Now, maybe, though, this would be a one if it's low. Oh, in fact, we've either... This is either a one or a nine, and so is that. So the ones and the nines are in columns three and seven in this row now for definite. And that's a 3-7 pair, and that makes this cell a 4. There's my first digit in the grid. Just short of 40 minutes. But grey is now low and can turn blue, I believe. Can we do that? Grey turns blue. Yellow is now high, and both yellow cells can go orange. But at least I can fill them in. 9-8-2. And this is a 1-3 pair. This has taken a long time to even get that, what feels now suddenly like a simple deduction, and really wasn't. This is four, five, or six. No, it's four or six to place the one in one of those cells. The nine there says that this is a five. I can get rid of the color that I put in those cells. 
or can I? We've had the high nine, this is the low digit. This is one, two, three, or four, but it's placing the one and it's not placing it in cell four. So the one is over this side because of what that has to be, because the nine is pairing either with that set or with that set to use up all the high digits. It's okay, this is right. That can't be a four because one doesn't go there. So this is low. And now that means the one, oh, bother. If that was a one itself, green could still be low. Oh, Poo Chang. Um, one of those is a four, but we knew one of these was a nine. That's not interesting. But this is low. This is interesting now. Surely this is hard for this to be high. If that's high, that's a four. Then this is a one, two, three, four set. No, that's fine. This can be an eight, seven, six set. So if that's low, this is a six, seven, eight set. That's a nine saying that this set is low and that has to be a one itself. Can this be a two with a one there and three there and four there? Yes. Okay, that didn't disambiguate purple and green, but we've got yellow and gray done. I, let's take the small comforts as they arise. One, two, three there. That's a four or a six. We've got three and seven as some sort of pair. Five there says that's not a five. Now, that can't be a four now. That is a five. Actually, that's not the thing I wanted to find particularly there. None of those are five. I've got a four, six pair down here that I can't... Ooh, or can I use it there? There's a four, six pair. This is the low digit in this group. That's the medium one. This is the high one. Seven or nine, since it can't be eight, putting a one in one of those two cells. Now, if that was a one, it would sort out that this was a nine. If that was a one, this would be nine. What does that mean? I don't know. Over this side, the nines, I don't know which side they go. Do they have to be the opposite side to the ones? Not necessarily, not, the, not that I can see anyway. There is a five in one of those two cells. That's unexciting news. Um, and it's even less exciting when I write it in as a four. Mind you, if that was a five, that would be a five. That would be a five. That would be a five. Could pretty much write the lot in apart from columns four and six. But that is not what we were after. Those were not the droids I was looking for. Right. These cells are from two, five, or eight. One of them is a five, the other one can't be six. And there are pairs in this row. Now, what does that do, if anything? Oh, also four is there, three is in one of these cells. The low digit in one of these sides is two, and in the other side is one. Now, whichever side is one is sending the one onto the, into the other column in box two. So none of these can be ones now, that's a virtual X-wing. If this is low, it's now three, with eight, nine sitting either side of it. Come on, do something. This is low, that's three, putting three there and eight, nine either side of it again. And, and what else with a one here? That would put, see one of those is three, surrounded by eight, nine, putting one there and sending one into the same colored cell here or here. 
whichever one of these is three, I th think if that's three, that's a one. Let me just work that out. If that's three, eight, nine there, one there, where does one go in the central box, given that it's low on a purple cell, it would have to be there. So one of these is a one, definitely. Now, what does that mean? That means that these digits are not the middly digits from four, five, six. Oh, but we don't have a set of three. Oh, bother. Okay, it means they are from one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. I'm literally going to mark that in because I've discovered it. And even though it's a lot of pencil marking, I don't know. I don't want to lose the idea that I discovered it. Four, five, six in this. I, the trouble is I think these cells can hold them. So there is a one in one of those though. That was an odd discovery. That was strange. If that was a one, this was a one then. And one's in one of those cells. Does it mean something? I don't know. What about that four, six pair that I came up with? That doesn't feel like it means anything either. So exciting to get the yellow and gray resolved in terms of polarity and yet it's led to very little. Uh, two, one, three, come on. Let's keep thinking a bit more. Four, three, six, five is in one of those. So the other ones here, I've got a one in one of these cells and a three on the other side. And that's paired with a one, three up there. So nothing else in these columns can be a one or a three. Ah, oh, but that three could be there. I was about to rule three out of that cell, but that's not right. Three is in, oh, three must be in one of these two cells because one of them is low, that's simple. So three is not in these cells. One of those is now definitely a two because one of them is low, same sort of thing. So none of these have a two in. So whichever of the, no, no. Well, whichever of these sets is low has a one, three pair either there or there. I don't see what that's doing for me. This isn't four, nor is that. In fact, four is now in a pair with six down here. One of those is one, so any seven here has to be with two and one above there. That neither of these can be seven because we've got a three in one of those cells. Yeah, okay. Two, three, seven, eight, nine. One of these is definitely a one. Oh, that's how I could have found that out. Um, So one of these is a two facing eight. More interestingly, one of these is a three surrounded by eight and nine. And then that gives us a one on this side up here and a three the other side. So if that's a three, that's a three. And then the low digits here are one and two. So these are either a one, two, three set, or presumably a seven, eight, nine set, although I'm not sure. No, either that set is a one, two, three set, or that set is a one, two, three set. That I can say. And in one case, there's a one, two here. And in the other case, there's a one up here. four, five, six, and seven in these possible cells, but also possibly 
here. No, that can't be four or six. It can't be five either. One, two, seven, eight, or nine are possible there. But there are two lows here and two lows here. These can't have a two in, can they? That's been a five eight pair for ages that I just haven't seen. That's a two six pair. They don't look very helpful if I'm honest, that two six pair. The five eight pair here rules eight out of these cells. And now, now we're left with one of these is an eight and one of these is an eight. The eight down here is with a two, three above it. One of these is, hmm, can I say that one of them's a seven? One of these is a three. Whichever one is a three is below the high digit here. Whichever one of the, if that's a three, it's below the high digit there. So neither of these can be a seven. Right. So one of these is a seven in this row. And that means neither of these is a seven. There's a one I've said in one of those cells. So the one here, yeah, we, we knew that. I sh well, should have recorded that earlier. So one of these pairs goes 2-9 running down. Now where's 4 in this row? Uh, it could be touching a 9 on the, on the lizard. I feel like I might have reduced these to a quad without, or a quintuple or a sextuple without realising it, but I don't think I actually have. The high pair here, and I've known this for ages, is a 7-9 pair, either that side or this side. The side that they're not high, they're a 2-3 pair with a 1 there. And a 2-3 pair are using 9 and 8 here. So on the 2-3 side, it's 2 3 9 8 5 one on the other side, where they're seven, nine, the low digits are one, two, and that's a three. So on the high, I can't remember this. On, on one side, it's seven, nine here, and the low digits are one, two. So one, two, seven, nine. On the other side, it's three, two, with nine eight two eight three nine and one two seven nine. Oh, I can't see what that means. I feel like this still might be the key to it, and I'm not understanding it. Oh, look at that! This this is not low because it sees one two three. And it's not from four, five, six because of the entropy rule. So it's seven, eight, or nine. And nine is definitely in one of these cells. How have I not seen that? Because I'm a Muppet. Nine's in one of those cells. And this is one, two, or three, therefore. I could have done that ages ago. I haven't seen that. Uh, so if that was a seven with a one there, that would be two or three. And these would have to be no, that doesn't prove they would have to be high. Oh, it almost does, though. There is a 1 in one of these cells. Oh, there is a 9 in one of these cells. So if that's a 1, these are now 6, 7, 8. I think I knew that already. Yes, we had a 9 there. Maybe it's this side. One of these is a 1. One of these is a 1. That's just Sudoku now. If it's there... Could these still be high? Eight, seven, six, nine, four, two, three. That would put one there and nine there. 
Ah, oh, it's doing the head in. I don't know what that means. I feel like it definitely, definitely means something. But I don't know what it is. Three or seven here, does that knock out? If that's a seven, that would have to be nine. That would be three and that would be one. I like this because it's an asymmetry. In terms of the indexing, I think. So, if that was a seven, then purple is low, that's a one. So if that's a 7 and that's a 9, purple is low, that's a 4, and that's a 9. So we'd then have 9s in those two positions. I don't know. Oh, goodness gracious. One of these is a seven with a nine and a two one pair. So the seven goes with a one in one of these positions. And on the other side, we have the low digit on top, which is a two. So neither of those are a nine, that's a two seven pair. And the seven goes with a one, I've just worked out. Yeah, there's no two there, it's <laughs> two seven pair. Right, so that's a one nine pair. Well, this is why we don't get the indexing here, because that would have to be four six, and that would be too many four sixes in column one. That is irrelevant. Now, the indexing in this row, though, is that seven one. This can't be seven anymore, because that would be high. And this can't be seven it would be high right now does that take nine one of those is a high digit and is a nine so nine comes out of those cells that's now a two eight pair one side of this is a one three pair the other side is a seven nine pair gradually gradually chipping away at stuff and getting nowhere that's not neither of those are nines anymore in fact they haven't been nines for a very long time that is a 1-7 pair. At least it's been consistent. It's small victories I'm taking. Where is 4 in this row? It's not now in either of those cells. So this is a 5-4 pair. 2-7-5-4. These are a high and a low digit. Well, where are 1 and 9? they could be here and that would require no they couldn't be in both these cells because that would require these to be a three seven pair and they do oh this is not one or nine because seven appears in one of those cells so it's also not two or seven or four or five this is three six or eight and there is, i have established a bit of asymmetry here i think this, on, this can't be a 3 because it would be touching a 7, actually. This can't be a 3 because it would be touching a 7. If that was low and that was high, and they're not allowed to touch. I think I've done it. I think I've established that green is high. And I'm absolutely mind-blown by how long that has taken. One hour to get that deduction done. I mean, amazing. Right. Now I can fill in these numbers. One, two, three, two. I do hope it's not wrong. Two, that's a one, three pair. That's a one. That's three, that's one. This one is not four. This one is high. This one is low. That is four. This is high, that's high, that's high, that's high. These are both high. That is high, it can't be eight, uh, can't be six, so it is eight. 
this is now not 2 or 8. It's saying that the 9 is in... Well, it's not in 1 or 3, because we got that 9. That is a 9. This isn't a 9. That's saying that 9 is in one of those cells. Not so interesting. 1 in this row, that cannot be a 3, but this can. This is 1 or 3. 7, 2, 8, 9, 4, 5. This is 1, 3 or 6, but it can't be a 6. Or and it can't be a 3 by whisper rules. So that is a 1. I can't type it. A 1, I really can't. That's now 3. This is 7, which is what the row says anyway. I should have filled that in. This, we got the 1, so that's a 6. Oh, goodness gracious. These are from 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is a triple. These are from six, that is six or seven, that's where eight goes. That makes this a seven by Sudoku, that makes this a nine by indexing. Um, come on, this is working now. What are we gonna get out of this? That six has sorted out four and six in row eight, which does nothing else, but that seven has put a nine there. And that puts a 1 here, and they refer to each other. That's a 6, because there's a 7 in the box. That's a 7. Yes, I can do these, 4 and 6. And these at the top. I must be able to do these first. 5 and 8, and these are 5 and 6. Columns 4 and 6 complete, sir. 4 there, and that's a 5-8 pair. This is a 4-7 pair, that's a 2-3 pair, which are resolved. That 2 fixes the 6-2 in row 4. The 3 in column 1 has fixed that 6-3 pair. Now that's 2 in the final column. Oh, look, I can finish the final column. Can I finish the first one? Looks a bit less likely because of this uncertainty. Uh, one has looked at that. This is high. That's been available for ages. Now that triple is unwound. That eight sorts out the five eight pair. Now I can do column one, presumably two there. Five eight six nine seven. Box seven is done. Box eight is done. Box nine is done. That's a five, that's a four. <laughs> well, we seem to have disambiguated this puzzle somehow. Ollie, that is brilliant. I mean, just over an hour now. At least it came apart in the end. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Fascinating stuff, isn't it? Um, let's get rid of my colors at this point. Oh, I'm glad I persevered, because my goodness, that was crazy times. I still don't really know what did it in the end, except it was just making sure I understood what was going on in those pairs, and then them acting on these sets, which was very strange. If you flew through that, or if even if you were watching me and going, oh, I can see how he can sort that out, I'm quite impressed, because I... I don't feel that guilty about this solve. That was tough. That was a tough puzzle. Very clever. Honestly, I'm not sure I still understand how the indexing disambiguates the symmetry, but there we go. That was the lizard baby disambiguation. Uh, we'll be streaming again next Wednesday, but thank you for watching, as always, on the channel, and bye for now.